So now it's time to aggregate our data that we've collected from our ABC data recording sheet. You can see that ahead of time the behaviors were defined. We have refusal and aggression. And we want to be able to visually see um, so that we can make a hypothesis of what the function of the behavior is. So I'm going to go ahead and put the data in for refusal. And you can see that there were 25 refusals and our consequences are listed here. Our antecedent was given a math task and our data for the consequences is listed here. And I want to go ahead and make a pie graph so I'm going to highlight the consequence column and the antecedent column and choose insert and I'm going to go ahead and do a 3D pie graph in this case. As you can see up at the top I have a lot of options. I'd like to have my uh, consequences listed. I'd like to see my percentages listed as well so I kind of like this one. I'm going to go ahead and move things around so we can see them a little better. There were no suspensions for the refusal behavior and the student was not escorted to the office. So I'm going to move those out of the way and I'm going to keep assistance from teacher which was 20% which is our attention function and in-class break, which is uh, escape, could be a little combination of attention depending on how the student got to the break. So if we're looking at this nice visual display, we can see that the student received that in-class break most of the time, which could be hypothesized as escape. To make my visual display less cluttered, I'm going to cut this visual out of this particular area. And I'm going to go ahead down here and put it on sheet two so that we can see that a little better. So I'm going back to sheet one and I'm going to do the same exact thing for the data for aggression. So we see that aggression happened 18 times in the three weeks. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight the consequence and antecedent information. And again, the student was given a math task. And I'm going to insert a pie graph. And I'd like my pie graph to look just like the other one. So First, I'm going to cut it out of the area here, go to Sheet 2, and I'm going to paste it in, okay? And what I can do is copy by right-clicking on my first graph and choosing Copy. And then I can go up to Paste Special. So I'm going to click on my um, second visual and go to paste and choose paste special and formats and choose OK. And so now I have my information for the aggression as well. And I'm going to go ahead and identify that. So the first one is refusal of a math task. And the second one is aggression. when given a math task. So if we look at this information now, we can clearly see what the possible function is of the behavior. So we've gotten assistance when we have aggression 17% of the time we've gotten suspended 11% of the time and then escorted to the office 72% of the time. So it looks as if escape and a little bit of attention, but mostly escape, 
is occurring when our student is demonstrating aggressive behavior. So I'm going to fix my spelling with aggression. And now you see how we can get a very nice visual to make decisions on our students' behavior.